Gigabyte B660 or as Master. This is a powerful and flashy board catered towards enthusiasts. If you need a full featured motherboard and don't mind spending a lot on it, this is the best B660 motherboard for you. Of course, there are a few caveats. One thing that immediately sets the B660 Aorus Master apart is the fact that it looks and performs like a Z790 motherboard. Of course, it doesn't support overclocking, but it has everything else you might want out of a gaming motherboard. The overall design is interesting as the gray heat sinks contrast quite a bit with the black rear panel cover. This already flashy design is further complemented by the RGB lighting around the rear I.O. cover and near the right edge of the motherboard. The large VRM heatsink features Aura's branding that is backed bit by RGB LEDs. As for the chipset, M2 and VRM heatsinks, they are all gray with a groove design. The chipset heatsink features the Aura's Eagle logo. Moving on, this motherboard features a 16 plus 1 plus 1 VRM configuration with 16 dedicated phases for the V-Core. These VRMs are rated at 60 amp and this entire configuration is quite overkill for a B660 motherboard. It feels like it was designed with a 13900K in mind, even though it does not support overclocking as we mentioned. Memory support is impressive as well as you can overclock supported DDR4 kits up to 5333 MHz. Sure, that won't be practical with most DDR4 kits, but it is possible. Moving on, this motherboard features three PCIe 4.0 M2 slots, allowing you to get the absolute best for your storage needs. One odd perk is the fact that it only has four SATA ports. Most people will be fine with this, but we're unsure why that is the case here. Six SATA ports are standard on nearly every ATX board. Since the Aorus Master is catered towards people looking for a high-end option, it features a four-lead debug panel, BIOS flashback, and a flagship audio codec. Speaking of audio, this motherboard delivers quite well in that regard, just like its bigger brother, the Z690 Aorus Master. Finally, this motherboard also excels in connectivity. It features plenty of USB ports, Wi-Fi 6, 2.5 gigabyte per second Ethernet, and plenty of fan headers. The latter means that it's also great for water cooling since you get a lot of flexibility for attaching pumps. Overall, the B660 Aorus Master is perfect if you're looking for high-end features but don't care about overclocking. As for the competition, the ROG Strix B660A comes close, but that board is even more pricey and hard to find these days. For those who want to save a bit of cash, the MSI Meg B660 Tomahawk is the better choice. Otherwise, the B660 Aorus Master is a solid all-rounder. To sum up what we like is the great support for water cooling, the overkill VRM configurations, the aesthetically pleasing design, the enthusiast-centric features, and the 10 rear USB ports. On the downside, there are only 4 SATA ports and it's pricey. Our rating for VRM design is 9 out of 10. Aesthetics, 8.5 out of 10. Connectivity, 9 out of 10. Value for money, 8 out of 10. For an overall rating of 8.5 out of 10. So what do you think? Do you like this motherboard? Check another video where we reviewed the best B660 motherboards and see if any of these is a better option for you.